Hmm, low carb, sugar free ice cream that's made at home without an ice cream maker. Sound impossible? It's not. Today I'm going to teach you how to make low carb, sugar free ice cream without an ice cream maker. It is so easy. It only requires two ingredients and it's whipped up and ready to be frozen in less than 10 minutes. And it's so versatile. You can put any flavor, any add-ins, anything you want in this ice cream and it will taste awesome. Also, if you want a printable version of this recipe, make sure you check out my blog at www.JanetsDeliciousLowCarbKitchen.com and it will give you a printable version of this along with all kinds of other tips and tricks that will help you every day in your low-carb life. So, let's get cooking. Attach a large mixing bowl to a standing mixer. Change out the paddle attachment to a whisk attachment. Pour two cups of heavy whipping cream into a mixer bowl and whisk on high for three to five minutes or until soft peaks begin to form. Pour in one and three-fourth cups of sugar-free condensed milk. I make my own because this is almost impossible to find in the stores. So if you need a recipe, then check out my blog post on how to make sugar-free sweetened condensed milk. I'll put a link in the description for you to go check that out. After you've poured in the sugar-free condensed milk, then whisk on high three to five more minutes or until the mixture thickens and starts to resemble soft serve ice cream. Stir in one tablespoon vanilla extract with a wooden spoon. If you're making vanilla ice cream, this is a must, but if you're making chocolate ice cream, it's optional. However, it does make it taste much better if you just leave it in no matter what flavor you choose. Now, if you're wanting just plain vanilla ice cream, you're all done. Just scrape it into an airtight freezer safe container and freeze it for six hours and you have plain vanilla sugar-free low carb ice cream but if you're like me and you love chocolate and you're looking for a chocolate version after you mix all the base of it together you're going to put one and two-thirds cup of chocolate chips in a microwave safe bowl and microwave on high for 30 seconds stir it with a fork microwave 30 seconds more or until the chocolate chips are completely melted. Make sure you stir it to make sure all the chips are melted. Now this is not the sugar-free version. If you're wanting the sugar-free version, then instead of the chocolate chips, you're going to need to place four tablespoons of butter in a microwave safe bowl and microwave on high for 30 seconds or until the butter is completely melted. After the butter is melted and cooled a little, stir in 3 4 cup unsweetened cocoa, 3 4 cups granulated stevia or granulated sweetener of your choice. Stir these together with the fork until they're fully combined and smooth. Also, the sugar-free version will also be on my blog so you can check that out and I'll put a link in the description for you to easily find it. After your chocolate chips are melted or your sugar-free chocolate mi mixture, whichever one you're using, after they're melted and cooled, add the melted chocolate chips or the sugar-free chocolate mixture to the whipping cream and condensed milk mixture. Stir it in with a wooden spoon until the chocolate is fully distributed throughout the entire ice cream mixture. Scrape the mixture into an airtight container and freeze it for at least six hours. This ice cream will keep for up to six weeks, but if you like ice cream the way my family likes ice cream, it's going to be gone in a matter of days. 
eat and enjoy. And that's our recipe of the day. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that little notification bell. That way you can be notified every week when I put out new recipes and new tips and tricks on how to make your low-carb living easier. And as always, keep cooking.